So hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how with the push of a button on your mobile phone you can find the closest customers, the closest bike sharing stations, the closest whatever you want. Let's get started. Okay, I told you on the previous video, I'm going to link it down below and it'll pop up here somewhere, how to calculate the closest location from a point to other places. In this case it was a bike riding uh, service for Austin, Texas in the US and as you can see on the map there is a green dot that's my location and then the three the blue ones are the ones where you know the closest bike sharing stations so on that video I actually hard coded my location I told you that it was possible to get it dynamically so that's what we're going to do today and we're going to use Power Automate. So let me show you how it's done. It's actually very, very simple. Once you figure it out, as always. So first thing, you need to figure out where you're going to store the location. And it needs to be stored, obviously, on the cloud somewhere. I've put it in SharePoint. You can put it in Excel. You can put it in Google Sheets. You can put it in anywhere you like. But you need to put it somewhere so Power BI can then read from it. So. I created just a simple list on SharePoint that is, has latitude, longitude, and location. And that's all. Now, then, I went to Power Automate. Here's the thing. I did this from Power Automate on the web, and it did not work for me. I have no idea. I was thinking that probably had to do with, you know, permissions on the phone. I changed the permissions. Still didn't work. So the only way I could make this work for me, it was actually to create the flow on the phone. And it's so easy, so why not? So let's jump on my phone and let me show you how I did it. Okay, so here I am on Power Automate. And what we are going to do is create a flow, a button flow. So we're going to search by template. We're going to search by location and get that one, send me a push notification. Use this template. We're going to modify it slightly because otherwise, obviously we want to have our location in SharePoint. So on the one in the middle, we're going to add an action, which is going to be SharePoint. And we're going to create an item. There you have it. And then obviously you have to choose the SharePoint uh, site. And then you have to pick the list name, which is my location, the one I showed you at the beginning. And then on title, I am, um, we are appending the locations of the bikes with my location just to make everything work smoothly. So I want to indicate that this is my location. So I'm going to, as the title, call it my location. So I know when I see on the table, this is where I am. It has nothing to do with anything else. Then for latitude, Click on see more, pick latitude, and for longitude, again, see more longitude. And then for location, why not? Let's give the full address so we know where we are. And that's all you need to do. Once you're done, you click create. And uh, the down button is like super weird. <laughs> you have to click it like, yeah. And we get the button. Here's the we have a button. How long it took? Like two minutes? Okay, now. Look at that. I am pressing the button. I'm getting the notification. And let me refresh here. So you get, you see the address here. We got the address. Beautiful. Going to Power BI. I'm going to refresh here. I actually modify the coordinates. Obviously, I'm not in Austin, Texas. I modify the coordinates so it gets around there somewhere. So it should pop up somewhere in here. And there you have it. You saw probably that it moved a little bit. Obviously, I haven't changed my location since when I tested it, so it's almost there. But if we go back, I'll show you. So here on my location, you can see that I'm reading from SharePoint, from my location table, and then I'm just getting the fields that I need. And here I am subtracting the latitude and longitude to actually you know, position myself in Austin, Texas, but otherwise you will just push the button, it will tell you where you are, and then tell you where the closest customers, or the closest bikes, or the closest cars, or the closest you want is. How cool 
is this? I think it is absolutely amazing. Okay, the file is available for download already for the previous video, so I will not make this also available. It makes no sense. Give it a go. Let me know if it works, and I will see you again next week. So take care, and bye-bye.